Maintain your distance. Area under active investigation by order of the Flaming Fist. Left, left, right. Down the stairs and... Oh, Oi! Mess with us and that'll be the last thing I'll do. I mean you'll do. Oh, shit! Stop! What are you doing? Are you trying to sneak past Chas Grunts? Do not worry. <laughs> Guild's friends are Chas Grunts' friends. And I don't hurt my friends. Unless they deserve it. Who let you through? That's Grunt. Bloody idiot. Here's the nine fingers. Good luck. Truly, this petty. If I were you, I'd turn around and walk right out of this alley. Now! Look at that! This ain't a public rooftop. It's mine, so piss off! is busy with their patrol and ha The broadsheet's gone to pot ever since I left. Things aren't like they used to be. Broadsheet says it all, really. The paper quality is atrocious. Worn edges, easy tearing. That newfangled mechanical print works is to blame. Won't blow us up. Any spillage. Let alone found his forks gutted. Didn't see it happen though, thank the gods. City's home to some proper sick bastards. I... I got lost. And then when I found Mummy and Daddy again, they wouldn't get up. I shouldn't have run away. I'm so sorry. Gonna need to change out uh, this barrel, Sue. Oh, poor kid found his parents like this. It's a tragedy, yeah. But it's not like we can look after him. Pipes are looking a little rusty. Are we scheduled for mate? Oh, all the failure on a critical pipe. Need something for defense? Or maybe offense? 
Either way, I've got what you need. <laughs> you in need of protection, friend. <laughs> what am I saying? Everyone's in need of protection. Don't be shy. This armor can't keep you alive if it's sitting here with me. Speak thrice the phrase correctly and lucky you'll forever be. Okay, great. Scarab, scarab. Oh, damn it! Can't you see I'm trying to concentrate? Scarab, sap, scarab's cap. Oh, this is gonna be harder than I thought. Fiend worship. I'm not trying to pick a fight, Will, but it really seems like a blatantly ill-advised idea. It's the furthest thing from my mind. Besides, Shadowheart, not all fiends are cut from the same score. Oh, I'm apoplectic, furious! Frank, How do they differ, then? The number of horns? The exact timbre of their evil law? Knock it off! Let's go home! Could be most anything. Their willingness to torment their travel partners with wisecracks, for example. I'm not going in there to hell. It was Runt's idea. You first? I oh, double drought dare you! Are you afraid? The devils in there can swallow kids whole! Even stinky! The devil's feet. You go in first, it's your idea. You've been single too long. Yeah, but I dared you first, so you have to go. Just three times. Oh, Only have to say it three oh, times. Oh, it's Devil head. A lot of effort for a piece of window dressing. The head of a death devil, straight from the fugue plane. More hideous than I imagined. That's curious. Imitation horns, but barely distinguishable from the real thing. A war devil's horns. You'd have so to suffer many a authentic battle devilish to items. Something over there. The final gems, straight from the heart of Manalros. Quite the rarity. I welcome thee to the Devil's Fee, where every hellish curio's a rarity. So merry be, and shop with glee. Well, well. It's been a while since I've had such discerning custom. Here, you may browse my more curated selection. Now you've seen what I have for thee. Remember, discretion is key at the Devil's Fee. My most perceptive, prospective customer. Welcome back. Truly. That's remarkable. I like to deal with remarkable people. Very well. 
You stand before Mammon's Picklock, latchkeeper of the Nine Hells. My business is not information, nor hellish curios. Not really. I... That's my thing. Lord Gortash wanted to steal something from Mephistopheles, so I punched a portal into the Archdevil's dusty vaults. And then I... Oh, gosh. My fickle memory fails. If only something would jog it. My, what deep pockets you have. Gortash stole the crown of Carsus, pissed off Mephistopheles, but rather intrigued another devil by the name Raphael. His house of hope is furnished with a great deal of treasures, many related to Carsus. But alas, he lacks the crown itself. He's rather ambitious. One can only wonder what he has planned for the crown. The answers to that can probably be found within his house. Perhaps it's time we paid Raphael a visit. What a fascinating proposition. Ludicrous, of course, but fascinating nevertheless. Very well. If you wish to die in Avernus, that's your business. Mine is charging you for it. Of course, such a task will require quite the substantial donation to Lord Mammon's coffers. Such a task would be tantamount to suicide. Do not even entertain it. You put me in a difficult position, mortal. You are almost certain to fail. Almost. And so, there is a chance you might succeed. Fine. I'd like to be able to carry all of my precious stock without the need of a team of oxen. There are gauntlets of hill giant strength within the House of Hope. Free passage, and you fetch them for me. Deal? Allow me to outline how this is going to work. First, you were never here. We never spoke. Second, you will perform the rites yourself. I want absolute deniability. Here's the grimoire and necessary components. Oh, take this key, too. It unlocks the ritual room upstairs. There's a blood circle already drawn. Don't ask whose blood. Along with the grimoire and components, Helsick hands you a note containing precise instructions for performing the ritual. Finally, you were never here. That is of utmost import to remember. Now be gone! That might be worth a look. Flower every color. That's curious. Expect to gain from the helms is not worth the risk of traveling there uninvited.
You came. Such a shame. Curiosity killed all the cats. It won't be so kind to you. As the woman speaks, you hear a distant rattle of chains, and she winces in pain. <sighs> the jailer will hear us. I shouldn't be talking to you. I must go. It's not kind to me. The figure flickers and starts to dim from view, but you sense she could be convinced to return. The figure shimmers brightly. Your words seem to have piqued her curiosity. I hope so. But it is a faint hope. Just like me. I can't leave. I could only suffer. But I'm supposed to do that in silence. Everyone here hates me for what I am. I'm the thing that kills you and the only reason you're alive. Made by a promise and done by the truth. A handshake, a hug, the first beat of a newborn's heart. I am hope. What little is left of her. A guttering candle in a universe of night. I'm not much of a friend to anyone anymore. But I could use a friend myself. Do you want a friend to guide you through this madhouse? I hear the jailer. It hears me. It'll call Raphael, make every question kind. Make some of them kind twice. You must ask of the Orphic Hammer. Without it, the Prince of the Comet and the Githyanki people remain forever chained. Discovered an ancient Gith prince in need of a savior? The Orphic Hammer is the perfect tool for breaking all infernal chains. Hope can help. The Hammer is here in this house. It's... You hear a sound like the rattle of a chain and an agonizing scream in your head as Hope flickers from view momentarily. here is mad. Even you, especially me. And that makes them dangerous, but it also makes them stupid. I'll make you seem as ruined as the rest of the people here. A simple glamour to make you a terrible wretch. <laughs> now whisper your questions, little wretch. But really quiet and very clever. Concentrate. Remember, quiet as a mouse. You can't help me! You can't even help yourself! You're gonna die here! You ask after me rather than your own heart's desire. It would bring a tear to my eye if I had not shed them all so long ago. The hammer is the key for you and for me. The same place you'll find your sorry little soul when Raphael rips it out. In the archive down the corridor past the debtors. Oh, the debtors. They won't like you. But I like you. I know I do. I think I do. I hope I do. I just need to ask one question and I'll know for sure. Can you save me? Please, 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 please. All right. You have to listen very, very, very closely. I will say this only once. Find the key, take the hammer, smash my chains. Find the key, take the hammer, smash my chains. Find the key, take the hammer, smash my chains. But be careful when you take the hammer. The fire will come, and Raphael, you must run, 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 run. But don't forget me. Please, please, please. 
I don't want to burn. Not again. The rattle of chains echoes louder from unseen places, and without a scream or a sigh, hope disappears. Another sorry soul come to wander these halls. What do you seek? I cannot help you. This is not my home, even if I can never leave. I was an architect and I... a builder of tombs and temples, but mostly of towers. My proudest work reached for the stars and sought to dry Seluna's tears. It was a monument to life and to virtue, and a happy home to my master for many years. Deaths in the family. Happiness rarely lasts a lifetime. When tragedy came, my master fell into darkness and despair. He marshaled a great army to ruin the world and bring all into shadow. I could not let it happen. I sought out the devil, Raphael, and signed an infernal pact with him. He promised to destroy my master's army, and I promised him my soul. In return, the devil was true to his word. Fiends slaughtered my master's forces, but he endured somehow and blighted the land. You know my work. Oh, I am glad it endures. Perhaps you also have the misfortune of knowing my master, General Catherick Thorm. Then my pact, the loss of my eternal soul, it was all for nothing. Then all came to pass as I had hoped. <laughs> Though a century too late for my family and friends. Your actions may have justified the price of my soul. <laughs> I thank you. Tell me, what became of my pride? What became of Moonrise Towers? Perhaps one day... New life will find it. Thank you. Now go. Finish your business here and leave while you can. You! 
You! Are you... good? I tried! I tried! But I don't think I can ever be good! Instead, I'll be perfect! One, two, three, one, two, three. Don't look at me. I'm, I'm dancing. I love to dance. One, two, three, one, two, three. <laughs> there is but one law, and it is immutable. I am that law. of all things that burn. He said he'd turn my eyes in on themselves to see inside me. Rolling and rolling until they burst. Bedfellow, and you will know true pleasure. <clears throat> oh. Let your heart be glad, let your tongue rejoice, and let your soul rest forever in this house of hope. Show your invitation. I like to watch the door to the boudoir. I like to see who goes in, who comes back out, and who never does. Why? It was his idea. Here I watch, forever and forever. I can never join in, but I'll always look. <laughs> oh, I like to peep through the keyhole. There's so much to see. So much to see. Your soul Show rest your invitation in this house of hope. Don't! Please don't! Out 
Away! This is Raphael's chamber pot! Its admirer, its protector, it is my one true beloved! Am I still breathing? Uh, my blood! It's burning! Uh, sizzling! Do you feel it? Don't come too close. Ah, my bones are kindling. Soon they'll catch light. Oh. Is it man on tomorrow? Or was it yesterday? Two lights, the rat and the man, the man and the rat, they gnaw at one another. Which one will be the meat and which one will be the tooth? She did my chums, took everything and ran. The kindly devil hid me from them, made sure they'd never find me. I skitter now, best of the litter, and hungry, want victual sweet with a rot. Simpler life, but harder. Things simple enough. Listen. Flock to me, all who are burdened, and I will give you hope. For my house is yours. Brother! The door. Welcome! It's so good to see a new face. Who am I? I do not know. Who was I? I can answer. A priest. I spent most of my life singing praise to a god who did not listen. <laughs> A thousand prayers with no reply. Imagine it. Raphael answered the first time I called out to him. Not riches or miracles. Just enough coin to keep my family happy and healthy. Raphael delivered, and then I was delivered to him. They're eating from the inside. The rats, the rats, the rats. Ugh. They look positive and wretched. Perfect. No without hope. <sighs> I thought you'd got lost and died. wine is laced with the perfume of an exquisite poison. An unexpected treat. The price for speaking is steep, but I must give warning. Your prize is just ahead in the archive, but you can't take it yet. And even if you could, you mustn't. Trigger the alarm, and Raphael will come swooping home on wings of malice to rip out your soul. In this house, thieves are melted like butter and spread onto toast. Shh! I'm doing it again. I'm doing it again. I can, I shall, I can, I shall. The archivist is the key, but he's as stubborn as a king and as serious as a heart attack. Exploit his fiddling weakness and make him grovel! Oh no. They hear me. Speak quickly, speak softly. You know how this goes. You study your mind, 
and prepare your questions. Sister, my sister! What have you done? Sold me for soul scraps, or met me for fun. My dearest sister Carilla is in there too. Pretending to prize the collection, acting all nonchalant. She's up to something. She won't let me escape. Not never, ever, never, ever. He fears authority figures. Perhaps his teacher took a strap to him and left a deep impression at an early age. There's one regular visitor that he particularly fears. She is... A crack like breaking bone. Hope winces. Scarier things than you, little mice. Virilius. Virilius Receptor. A High Inquisitor of Zariel. Officially entitled to audit Raphael's collection. Her true form is so gargantuan and mind-scarring to behold that she takes on many guises when she visits. Play your part well and you can be one of those blasphemous guises. Cleanse the books. I code each and every line for falsehoods and purge them pure. I'm just here to watch the story unfold. Well, well, well. Look what we have here. No interruptions, please. Do not demand silence, but please keep prayers, words of encouragement, and friendly conversation to a minimum. I'll make them perfect. Pages crisp with lines and letters. I'll make them beautiful for him. I promise. I promise. is excessive. Can't resist the faintest hint of a temptation, can you? I suppose that makes two of us. That little disguise Hope gave you is adorable. I can see right through it, of course. And so will Raphael. He's going to notice you nosing around his house. I hope you're ready to face a very angry devil. Poor deluded Hope. She's stubborn! Raphael loves stubborn. If she'd just agreed to serve him, he'd probably have released her a long time ago. As things stand, she's his favorite toy. We're all mad here. But Hope and Hell? Why, that's the definition of insanity.
eventually. He took her by force, trapped her and swore he wouldn't let her go till she gave him what he wanted. Conversion. The stubborn ass has endured more torment than any soul should be able to. Even when he took all of her skin, she held on to hope. Raphael finds that puzzling. And he loves puzzles. You being here is another puzzle. You don't seem like you want to die. You want my advice? Enjoy whatever life remains to you. When Raphael catches you, you'll never enjoy anything again. A guest? Are you a client of the Master, or a visitor from elsewhere in the Hells? I do not believe you were invited. One moment. I shall consult the visitor's schedule. Hmm... Mm. His eyes flicker back and forth as if he is reading a book. He has the schedule memorized, or it's carved into his eyelids. Hmm, most irregular. The schedule is all but clear, and yet you are here. No visitors expected, other than Carilla Hearthflame and Virilius Receptor, Zariel's High Inquisitor. A thousand apologies, O oh Majestic Magistrate of the Infernal Court. Your mortal guise is so vile, I found it perfectly convincing. I would prostrate myself before you and kiss your calluses. But my spine is ruptured in a thousand places. You do know how Raphael likes to play. As always, the archive is yours to peruse. You'll find everything accounted for, and I can present documents of procurement if necessary. A fine pair of gauntlets that allow the wearer to twist the head from even the most resilient malingerer. An amulet that causes the blood to surge and the heart to swell, along with other parts. Mm. Most invigorating. And awaiting installation, we have secured a rod that gathers the weave around it in great quantities, just as surely as shit gathers flies. You may examine them, O oh diabolical dominatrix, but they cannot be removed unless you present a writ of infernal requisition with Article 152 correctly filled out. Splendid to see you again, Inquisitor. An exquisite and most unique artifact. Crafted with materials hewn from the depths of the Hells by Raphael's Merrigan labor force. As it was created by Raphael himself, we have no documents of procurement, nor do we require any. But if you wish to examine the artifact itself, you are more than welcome. As part of the special collection, that item is guarded by a master word that even I do not know. I suggest you wait until Raphael returns, and you can discuss the matter with him. You are welcome to relax in the boudoir until then. It is where Raphael conducts his most private matters of business and pleasure. You will need this to gain access. The resident of the boudoir will wish to explore every inch of your new form, and I'm sure you will be happy to share. You are... Oh, my God. 
Archivist told you to cool off in the boudoir. Well, here it is. A horrid place where pleasure is pain and pain is pleasure and hope cannot live at all. Everything in this house exists for Raphael's pleasure and Raphael's pleasure alone. That includes Raphael himself, whatever form he takes. A lost little mouse is running through the house. A thief in the night, greedy and here to take. Why are you here, little thief? Hmm. Raphael all but spent himself to get that hammer. And you want to take it off him? This is very naughty. Whatever are we to do? Why don't we play a game? You win, I give you everything you desire. <laughs> but you'll enjoy yourself more if you lose. It's a surprise. Off with your clothes. Good little thief. Good. Keep going like this. And you'll get to live. You'll be crying out my name soon. You'd better know it. I am Harlep, Raphael's personal incubus, glamoured and transfigured to look like him. I'm a perfect copy. He only ever wants to sleep with himself. <laughs> What's better than the devil you know, eh? His violating stare sees more than all of you. It sees potential. Before we continue, I want to make sure you're comfortable. Sometimes, when he's feeling adventurous, Raphael will ask me to change into the Archduchess, Raphael. I can take her form if you choose. A simple swap pales in comparison to what you are about to do for me. You. you know, you need not run away should you win. You can stay here if you wish. Very well. I will be Raphael himself. All of him. On the bed. Lie. I already told you, it's a surprise. Don't you like surprises? Thought of resistance or control is fading. You will obey. 
giving yourself body and mind to them. You retain a trace of free will, but it is one drop in the ocean of their desire. It will not last. Every kiss is as tender as a last goodbye. Every touch a lie of true love. Ugh. You are no fun at all. you first. Victory awaits. I will not know fate. <laughs>
Better to put the debtor's attire back on. Keeps the locals quiet. Lay a finger on the master's treasures and you... what you wanted, but you cannot leave lest all hells break loose. <laughs> uh, a hopeless situation. <laughs> there it is. The Orphic Hammer, right within reach. A magical field surrounds the item, preventing you or anyone from touching it. You surmise it's controlled by a vocal component. Magic words. You know the words. Now speak them. The magic... magic blinks away at your words. I've got good news. A bad news. A worst news! C good news! You got what you came for. Successful visit! Great success! Fantastic work! Bad news. So many things will be on fire when you step outside of this room. You included! That's okay, no, right? It's hell! You expected it to be hot. Worst news, Raphael's on his way home and oh boy, oh boy, he is spitting mad! You planned for this. I know you did. You have everything under control. It's really important that you don't panic, even when your eyes evaporate from the heat. Come to my prison, bring the hammer, break my chance, and then we exit stage any which way. Quick as a cockroach, lickety split if you don't mind. Yes, the hammer is ours. The means to Orpheus's release is in our hands. To the Undercity, Vos must hear of our victory. When we next enter the Astral Prism, we will break Orpheus free. For now, keep focused. Raphael will come to take back his treasure. This is our chance to find out how much this devil bleeds. time. 
time for mercy. <laughs> Finding my way. my mind and, well, in it.
swallow you whole if you take another step. You won't be able to see me while you're being digested! You find my prison. My body is held in chains just beyond. The whole house is tumbling down and Raphael striding across the plains to come catch a mice. And I swing that big, beautiful hammer, crack open my chains, and let's get out of here. It's time to buy this coop on a hope and a prayer. Don't! But if you must, make sure I'm with you. He makes mistakes when he's angry, and seeing me running free will make him as angry as an axe head. You sound so brave, but we really don't have a choice. and yet so far. All hope of escape frozen in time forever. Power is almost as sweet a sight as you are. Smash those chains! I'm needed. One with the wheel. Mm. Blood comes easy these days. Will not bend. Fleet of foot. Almost as sweet a sight as you are. Smash those chains! Hmm. A petrified. 
petrified desert. Impossible to tell how long she's been there, but likely longer than she deserved. Decide as you are. Smash those chins. Infant in the room. I can see how you avoid looking at me. I must be so terribly mutilated after all these decades of torture. Don't hold back. Tell me how bad it is. We both know that's not true, but, but thank you for being so kind. I hope that was a compliment. We'll carve our way to the entrance hall and chop Raphael into messes. That's the hopeful version, of course. The likely version is that we are the messes and he is the chopper. Onward! Let's move. Oh. Rested enough. Forward.
freshened up and ready to fight. There are three things you need to know about Raphael. He's on to closer than a kiss. His favorite color is blood. Time slows for a moment and the air becomes thicker. The master of the house is coming. You. There are many things in your world that I loathe. Litters of kittens, chattering children, the noise, and the chaos of it all. In my world, in my house, there is order, and there is decorum. You came here uninvited, and you stole from me. In doing so, you brought the chaos of your world into mine. I will not abide it. I didn't need to. It was very entertaining watching you dig your own grave. I permitted you the freedom to decide your own fate. You could have been smart. Selfless, saved the world. Instead, you came here and risked everything. It's the fatal flaw of mortal kind. Take away their free will and they call you a tyrant. Allow them to indulge it and they become tyrants. You would have been heroes if you'd only dealt fairly with me. Instead, you're not so different to doomed Cassus, overreaching your limits and burning your world to Ash. Wrong! 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 They will save their world and smash you to smithereens! It's this charming naivety that makes your company such a joy to me, Hope. I'll even forgive this little rebellion once you're suitably chastised. This isn't a rebellion. It's a revolt. I'm revolting! <laughs> Then hope dies today. Commander, you can salvage a trophy from these insects when I'm done with them. These insects struck me down beneath the Shadowlands. They are worthy opponents. Their skulls will make fine trophies. Estimate your abilities. I stand with Raphael. If you have any last words, make it quick. It will only take a moment to finish you. No words? No matter. You will scream before the end. Little Mouse. Now, down comes the claw.
and hold your applause. Squirt, squirt. But now down here come the claws.
stay idle. Give in. Let's be on my way. What do I have to lose? Let's 
go.
you for? I am fury. I am death. Shouldn't play with divine fire. It will burn you. On the move. Still breathing, despite everything. Blood follows me. <laughs> Victory is assured. Let's light them up. No time to waste. that any of us are alive. Maybe we're not. Pinch yourself and check we're not dreaming the last of our lives as we die screaming! Then we're not just fine, we're spectacular! What a wonderful, jubilant, glorious day. Huh? But my poor sister, Carilla. It is not right that she died. And that makes me want to weep an ocean. When we were children, she always kept the last piece of pastry for me and bloodied the nose of the bullies who pulled my hair. She was my sister. But as a wise woman once said, there's no point in crying over spilt blood. We must go on. And despite all the years I've lost, I have enough love in my heart to guide you home. For the first time since you heard her voice, hope seems calm. 
and the peace flows from her into you, soothing your very soul. And go where? I don't think I quite know how to be anywhere else but here anymore. With a lick of paint and a thorough cleaning, this could be a lovely little house. And I can hardly leave. After all, who would ever want to think of hell without hope? I hope I'll see Carilla again one day, and that she'll say sorry, and I'll tell her she's forgiven. I hope I find all the pieces of my mind that fell out of my head over all those years, and that I'll be able to put myself back together again. I hope the echoes of pain will fade, and memories of sorrow will die, and that you'll visit me here someday. And I hope you have a happy ending of your own.